What's going on, friends? So, we are doing a, well, I can only say a couple words at a time, apparently. So, uh, right now, we had a viewer request video of, of two cups on the same canvas with the same amounts, but with one big difference. One where we're pouring the paints from up high, and one from where we're pouring right above that rim right there. And so, uh, yeah, let's do it. So these paints are all, this is my apple bottom paint. What in the world? Did I get that on the inside? How did I get this on the inside? Anyway, it's not interfering too much. Um, and then these are house paints. This is Island Sun, I believe. This is uh, the Apple Barrel Deep Violet, Titanium White from Artist Loft, and Spanish Tile by Valspar. Or, yeah, Valspar. Okay, so um, I'm going to dust both these cups, and then we will start uh, part doing the thingy. Doing the things. Okay. So dusted both of those cups with my trusty WD-40. All right. And then this. It's a good thing I have kids because, um, you know, when they're like, he got more, she got more. Um, this one I'm going to try to do right here. Make it, measure it down to the atom. Or, you know, that's not very realistic. Just really, really close. And a couple drops on the canvas just to make sure something. All right. And so I do want to mention right off the bat, I really do appreciate the idea because um, sometimes coming up with new video ideas is hard. So uh, it takes a little teamwork to make that dream work. And so, um, yeah, that's my cheesy thing. So pouring from up high and this is... right up next to the rim. Okay. I love this color, this royal violet. Ah, look at it. It's very pretty. It's very, it's a little bit more energetic in person than it is on the screen, so. All right, and then our violet from up high. And then bring down low. I mean, <clears throat> we can really see already one of the effects it's having. One is already kind of mixing itself and the other one's just kind of sitting on top. <clears throat> I'm not going to stir this one. Normally, if I uh, I would stir this one just to make sure that it mixed through, but since we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison, I want to make sure that we actually get a good comparison. So I won't stir either of them. That's quite a bit of orange paint. I think it's more than I needed, but... All right, and a few drips of orange on the canvas to round it all out. Um, just trying to pop some bubbles here. All right, well, anyway. So here we go, two 
that have the same volume on each side. We have the one that was poured at the rim, and then we have one that was poured from a higher height. Um, those bubbles are also going to help open up that canvas. So we'll start flipping these over. Um, let's do that one there. And that one there. And maybe a touch of white down the middle, just to keep them separated a bit. I don't think we're going to have a hard time finding them, but... Okay. All right. So here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, right off the bat, you can see they're very pretty for different reasons. I love this stri striations. I think I said it right. There's a ton of air bubbles up in this piece. I love it when it does this. Ah! Too close! Just in case you were wondering how close is too close, that close was too close. I see this air bubble right here. I want it to pop. Got it. Boom. Like a pro. All right, anyway. Let's stop wasting our gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get some of this drippings on the side here. There we go. And on this side. Oh wow, there's some really beautiful cells on the side here. I'll show you when we get down, if it's still there when it's when we've done some tilting. Um, so I'm really not trying to, um, you know, paint this whole thing right here. Oops. Okay. Anyway, back to the thing. That's cool. Like that. They've just been getting bigger. Those things were so small when we first hit them. That's cool. Okay, anyway. So a couple things to note, I did pour these up higher than I, on the left, I poured it higher than I normally would have poured it. So if I was just doing that to, um, to just, um, if this wasn't a side by side, I wouldn't have poured it that high. <laughs> this is serious business here. All right, definitely going to have to pour that stuff off. But um, You know, while we're doing this, I'm just going to cover the other side because we're going to have to tilt it back the other way anyway. 
No, let's do that later. That's kind of cool looking right there. Really should have covered it all with paint, uh, the whole canvas with like a white or something. That would have helped it flow and I wouldn't have felt like I needed to cover everything. All right, now let's do the other side and then we'll, then we'll pour to a finish here. Hmm. Oh, there's all, all, all that extra paint. This is a gorgeous color right here. Sometimes I love how you, when you start tilting and paints mix and stuff you hadn't even intended to come into the mix start showing up and So some of these cells are getting stretched weird because I'm only stretching them one direction. Normally I would stretch them a little bit left and a little bit right and because of that I think every Wow. My paint does not like being stretched like this. The white starting to tear and stuff. All right. This almost reminds me of when um, the HGTVs first came out. Everything was stretched wrong. That's kind of what we have right here. Everything stretched wrong. Okay, so what did we learn? When it's higher up, and this kind of looks cool. This is the high, uh, the lower down one. When it's higher up, it does mix better. Um, and then this side was the side where I poured up from really high. But I poured it up from really high is the thing. I never would have poured it up that high. I would have, I don't know, maybe that far above the cup rim. Uh, I'm just going to run my torch over this. And, um, yeah, I think we're done on that one. Okay, I'm gonna get you down so you could see some of the cool things and some of the not cool things. And yeah, I even post my bad videos, so it's just the way it is. So you can tell where this paint did not like getting stretched. See how the pigment came loose? You can see. The, uh, let me. See. There we go. 
it turned a little grainy in there. And that's because of how much we stretched it. Did a little bit again there, again there. Now onto the other side. This is the side where we poured up higher. And there's a whole bunch more mixing of colors. Um, like that little bit's really cool. The purple outline on that edge. And this right here reminds me of a, a rose petal. And that reminds me of a moose with the nose. Where's my finger? Ah, with the nose and then the eyeballs. Yeah, no, not really. Um, yeah, so this one's definitely not a fine art piece, but uh, if I were to have to choose between the two, clearly, clearly the one on the left. That's the lower pour, although I poured that left this one up so high that um, that it just mixed too much, I believe. And with the amount of stretching we had to do, it did not like it. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this community with us crazies over here. Uh, if you like the video and you like the things we try and and if you like that I post the great videos and I also post the ones where I mess up so I can make you feel good about yourself. That's exactly why I post it. <laughs> um, but if you like the videos, would you reach down there, click the like button or maybe even subscribe if you got a, got a little bit of room there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.